Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about these things, forward curves. If you've never seen a futures forward curve before, then it might look a bit scary or weird or something, I don't know. But the truth is they're relatively simple and they can be useful. So a forward curve, what a forward curve does is plot all the current futures prices for any one market onto a simple graph. It's a graphical representation of where every single contract is trading. So take a look at this one. This is natural gas. So natural gas has a whole bunch of contracts trading out. They trade on a monthly basis uh, and it trades for years out. So instead of looking at your natural gas market like this, you can look at it like this on a chart. So this particular chart, ignore the blue lines, which is an average, uh, and then ignore the red one for a minute. We're just looking at the black one here, which just shows it plots out the current natural gas prices uh, out 10 years time. So back to that table just looked at, it's plotting that, those prices along here. Uh, now, as you can see, this one has a little bit of a pattern. I'll come back to that, but I want to show you some other futures uh, forward curves first. And first up, there aren't too many markets you can plot forward curves in because there aren't that many futures markets that have a whole bunch of contracts out in time. Most futures markets will have uh, one or two or three active futures contracts at any point in time. And there's not much point in plotting those, right? Because you've only got two points on the chart. In fact, we'll do one with the Treasury bond, for example. Uh, we've got one, two, three. That's a three point that kind of looks like a long call and a long put, but they're not. They're not anything to do with that. Uh, it is simply just plotting the three current prices for uh, the Treasury bond to look active. And the third one, I don't even know what that is, some type of settlement price. So, um, uh, you know, co co compare that to natural gas, which has a heck of a lot, it has 10 years of prices um, and they're monthly. So um, uh, 12 per year, obviously, how about that? Uh, so the, the, the markets you can plot a forward curve in are energy markets because they do trade a long way out. There's natural gas. Uh, let's take a look at crude oil. Crude oil is the same, quite a different looking market. I'll come back to that in a sec too. Gold, well, you can do it in gold. Gold does trade several contracts out, but it's relatively, the spread between the markets relatively fixed. The spread between each contract, I should say, is relatively fixed. doesn't move much, so there's not a heck of a lot of point uh, in looking at that. Grains are another market where you can see forward curves. Uh, let's grab a view of that. Soybeans looks like a bit of a dog's breakfast. Corn looks a bit more um, interesting. You can see um, it's essentially showing the current expectations of where the markets are going. So corn, for example, uh, you've got the current price here, which is a September contract. Uh, and heading out along the curve, you can see the expectation is for higher prices in corn. Compare that to soybeans, that black line, again, it's a bit all over the place, right? So uh, Euro dollars is another one. You see this a lot if you're trading uh, or if you're reading about short term interest rates or stirs. The Euro dollar is one of those contracts, the biggest contract. Uh, you can see the current market there, uh, to middle of 2021 or 2020, I should say, heading into 21. Uh, we've got it's showing prices relatively high or interest rates low. And then over time, over the next 10 years, the market is currently expecting interest rates to move higher. You'd kind of expect that. But, uh, but there you go. So that's in effect showing interest rate expectations, short term interest rate expectations uh, for something like natural gas. Let's go back to natural gas and have a look. This is the most interesting one I could find natural gas. because you can see, there's obviously a seasonal pattern there, right? So every these lines mark January, the start of the year. So each contract is trading at a high relative to the other uh, contracts either side of it. That's because that's when there's peak demand in natural gas. Uh, you can also see there's a little bit of a push up in the middle of the year as well. And there's increased demand during that time for natural gas, obviously not as much as during the American winter. Uh, interesting, hey? So I mean, if you, you, you wouldn't use a forward curve to find a trade so much. You might kind of get some vague ideas from it, uh, but you're not going to find that um, uh, uh, that, that hidden treasure or anything in one of the, if, if looking at this trade, the only thing that pops out to me is not just that January uh, thing, because that the market's always like that. So that uh, natural gas market is always like that. But it's interesting to see these ones uh, stronger than uh, the next couple of years, and then we're back to strong again. 
if you had a heck of a lot of patience, as in several years worth of spreading, um, you know, you could be looking to sell these, buy these and sell those, I suppose, in some type of weird extended stretched out butterfly kind of condor trade. But um, that's a heck of a lot of patience doing that. And none of us futures traders have much or that much patience. So, but that's uh, just this quick video just to show you what a forward curve is. Uh, and we'll use this in our analytics. And we're going to have a look more at the natural gas market um, in a minute. If you're a subscriber and you're watching this on the site, you'll see us go into natural gas some more. If you're looking at this on YouTube, then you won't. So anyway, that's a forward curve. <laughs>